Hi Camp Family, it's Nurse Lulu with Camp Summit at Home. Today we have a two-part nature activity. For the first part, you'll go on a nature hike, bring something with you to collect things in, like a cup, and um, wear lots of sunscreen, drink lots of water, uh, make sure you have good shoes on, good clothes to cover you from the sun, be safe while you're hiking. <laughs> Um, and the second part of our, our activity, um, you'll be using all the things that you find on your hike to make a nature sun catcher like the one that you see behind me. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what I can see because it's so beautiful out at camp and we'll get going. All right, I'm here at the entrance to our nature trails. Before I get going, I want to say again, Please, when you go on your walk, have some sunscreen, have some water. If you usually have somebody with you on a walk, have them with you this time. Make sure you don't walk through any dense grasses where any snakes or other animals might be hiding. And um, please make sure that when you get things for your sun catcher that you're not grabbing anything that has thorns or that might be poison ivy, okay? Um, just like at camp, we want everybody to be safe while we do our activities. So, um, I just, I love this field of flowers back here. I hope you guys do too. Camp has flowers all over it right now. I really love being out here in the spring um, because the flowers change so much all throughout the spring. So for this activity, as I'm walking around, I am finding flowers, leaves, grasses, things that um, interest me and that I want to have in my sun catcher. I'm really trying to grab things that are already on the ground um, that have maybe dried out a little bit because they'll, they'll last better in the sun catcher. Also, I don't know if you can see them, but there are lots and lots of different insects um, on these flowers and it really helps them to have all of the flowers available to them. So if you can take a flower that's kind of already been used up by them, um, then that saves all of the ones that are still nice and big and healthy for them to use. So um, we'll just keep going here because it's such a lovely day. And as you walk around, I really want you to think about the feeling of the breeze and the sound of, of the gravel or the leaves crunching underneath your feet. Walks out in nature can be just so relaxing. Think about the sound of the birds. I'll pause for a moment and we'll see if you guys can hear the birds that we have here at camp. Hopefully you could hear them calling. We have quite a lot. So again, for your nature sun catcher, it doesn't have to be just flowers. It can be lots of other things too. Um, I really like these kind of colored leaves here. So when they fall to the ground, I try to get those. Um, or if they look like they're wilting, I might try to grab some of those. Uh, really, you want things that can lay flat pretty easily. And this is so fun, too. I'm trying to find a good example for you in the ground. It's rained so much here lately that we have some really good deer print impressions in the ground here. I'll if you guys can see these. You can look for these on your hike too. So here's one right here. These are from deer. We also have lots of pigs um, out at the campgrounds. Uh, but not on the main campgrounds, but sometimes out in these back trails. And so sometimes you'll see uh, footprints from where they've been. We don't see them very often but there's footprints sometimes that they leave behind for us. And yeah, so as you're walking around, maybe on your trails, you'll see some, some footprints left from dogs or raccoons. 
Um, really anything that goes through some nice wet mud. Here I think is a raccoon print that might be kind of hard to see. Right here. See that? Just like that. So this is this is really fun too. There are so many things that you can see out in nature if you take the time to pause and think about it and look around. Here's some more of those pet rocks that people have painted for us and left us in the past. We do keep them here. We do appreciate them. We do come and visit them, as you can see. And, oh, I think these guys are so great too. These big purple puffs. This one's kind of starting to go. Could maybe take some puffs off of that. Get some nice purple in my sun catcher. And here we are at the back of the chapel. So, if you just take a really short little walk like that, I hope that you really enjoy it. I do enjoy taking longer walks, but for the purposes of this video, we'll get back to our activity. But yeah, you guys, go on a walk, listen to the birds. Feel the breeze. Enjoy being outside. It's so peaceful and lovely and not too hot yet. <laughs> you can see the back of the cabins here and our new bat boxes. There's one of them that we're passing. And this will take us back to our nature area and where we started. All right, hopefully you had a really good nature hike. I know I did. I've gone on a few collecting different things. I collected things around home and around here at camp. So I have a few things here in my cup. So you'll need <clears throat> the things that you collected. You'll need some kind of glue, maybe some kind of string, I'm using tape, um, but if you had contact paper or sticky laminator paper, you could use that. You could also use wax paper and an iron. You'd get help with the iron if you usually get help with an iron. Um, some scissors. And then I used just kind of thick cardstock type paper but you could use construction paper, a paper plate. Um, if you didn't want to do a circle or a shape of any kind, a real like intricate shape of any kind, you could do um, popsicle sticks or other twigs. Um, if you want to hang lots of them, then um, you can grab a long stick um, from outside somewhere. That's what I did. Um, just got a nice big stick on one of my walks and when I made uh, my multiple different sun catcher circles, I hung them from that. Um, I'll show you that again at the end of the video. We'll walk back over there and see it. Um, but okay, so glue, string, scissors, paper or popsicle sticks or small sticks, and then packing tape or um, contact paper or laminator paper or wax paper. Hopefully you have one of those things at home or can get one of those things pretty easily. Um, again, get creative. There's so many things that you can do with what you already have at home if you just get creative with it. So I've already made my circles. What I did was <laughs> take a lid from an old uh, oatmeal bottle and um, put that down, traced on 
my big piece of paper like that and then cut around the big circle. Then I took that circle that I cut out and folded it in half and made another tracing. This time I used a cup. Made a tracing around that and around that smaller tracing I cut. So it looked kind of like that. Had my tracing. I cut around that and that gave me my open circles like that. Um, so all of the pieces that you display on your contact paper, your packing tape, your wax paper, whatever you use to display your nature pieces on um, can go in circles like this that kind of help it hold its shape a little bit better. And I think the color is nice. It kind of makes it pop. So I got my circles ready in advance. You don't have to do it in advance. You can wait till you're done with the, the taping of your nature things first. But I did mine in advance because um, I find that that makes it just a little bit easier for me to think about what's going where. So then because I am using the tape version of this, I'm gonna lay my tape out. And I want it to be, you know, about the size of my circle. That's kind of why I did the circles first. So I know that my circles, the size that they are, need about two pieces of tape laid just barely on top of each other, you know, next to one another like that. And again, if you need help with these things, it is a kind of a more difficult fine motor skill. Um, so if you do need help with this, get help with this. No big deal. As always, get help with scissors if you need help with scissors. So now I have two strips of tape together like that that I can lay my nature things on, the sticky side up to stick things on, okay? So I'll pour out some of my things. If you have a really big flower like this, this is from one of my mimosa trees um, that I let dry out, the colors will change. Um, if you let the flowers dry out first, or the leaves and everything, if you let them dry out first, the colors will change, but they'll last longer. Um, they won't mold inside here. So if you wanna give them a few days sm smashed flat, uh, inside some paper towels in between some big books um, you can do that or if you just want to put everything on right now they'll probably last a week or two um, before they really start to change color on you so this I dried out um, I have this really bright big plant at home and stick one of those on there and then I want to use my green stuff because I really love this like leafy green fern type stuff. So I'll put that on. You can make different shapes with these things. I stuck um, some of them down on the examples that I already made um, to look kind of like butterflies. So I actually found some butterfly wings on one of my walks. So you can you can make all sorts of things. Um, that's kind of part of the beauty of this project. I would not suggest putting really big things like this flower um, is great but this big part this big thick part is not gonna stick between the tape very well so I'm just pulling the petals off and then again it's fun to just make different shapes um, make flowers look different all, whatever you can imagine whatever you can put together it's just so fun so got some of that I also, let's see, I'll put some of my purple stuff on here and some white things and really just think about it. Take your time. Think about what you want these to look like. Again, you can, you can do more than one. You don't have to fit them all on one. So if you want to do more than one, do that. I'm going to risk it with some of these little white ones because I just think they're so fun. 
and I've tried drying them out and they do not dry out well but we'll we'll see it's risky because they're um, bigger poofier kind of things and one thing I found at home that I really liked was these really big seeds like that you know you can usually take the small ones blow them off make a wish um, but I found these really big ones and I thought they'd be fun on this so here we go fit at least one maybe I can fit two now if you make a big just a big square like with popsicle sticks you can fit more stuff on it um, I just like the look of these smaller rings but you can make them however you want to make them again that's part of the beauty of this project it can be whatever you imagine it to be okay once you get everything you want stuck down um, on this section and again you can do multiple of them so you can save your other nature things for other pieces once you get everything stuck down um, that you want then you can take your tape if you're doing tape and do the same kind of thing but this time with the sticky side down um, same thing with the contact paper if you use contact paper you'll lay sticky side up first and then you'll do sticky side down for this top piece uh, laminator paper the same way if you have that sticky laminator paper if you do use wax paper which I did with one of mine and I can show you um, the way that I found that worked really well to seal it was to shave crayons down um, on top of this before I put the other piece of wax paper on top shave crayons down on top of the things the nature things that I'd collected um, then put the wax paper and then go over it with the iron so the crayons spread out and kind of helped glue those two wax piece pieces together um, it does make a difference which kind of crayon you use so you might test it on some other wax paper first some of them spread out really well and some of them don't want to spread out at all um, so based on what kind of crayons you have you may or may not want to do it that way with with wax paper but okay so I'm gonna try to lay these back down exactly where the first ones were laid sticky side up and again, it is a pretty difficult fine motor skill, so if you need help with that, definitely get help with that. And I'll cut that. And there you have it. So there is my little section. You can see my little make-a-wish <laughs> seeds. Uh, some of my flowers, some leaves in there, some grasses. So then I'm going to kind of measure it against the ring that I have and cut off some of my extra. And you can decide exactly what you want to cut off if you put nature things farther out than the inside of your circle. That's okay. You can just pick some things to show and some things won't show. Then you'll lay your string down, and I already glued my string onto one of my circles, um, but this is gluing the string onto the other circle and onto the taped nature stuff that I have here. So I'll get my ring of glue, put my nature thing down, put another nice ring of glue. stick my top ring on. There we go. You could use tape for this. Um, if you wanted to do tape instead of glue, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm using glue because it sticks a little bit better. It takes a while to dry, but it does make a, a little bit better seal. And then your whole nature catcher, if you make more of these um, and do it like I did with a with a big uh, stick, hanging everything off of a stick. Um, you can put that outside or you can put it inside. 
Or if you don't want to display it on a stick, you can just take this and hang it in a window um, so the sun can come through it. That'll look really nice. So I gave it a little bit of a chance to dry and now we can go see what it looks like hung up with the rest of mine. All right, here it is. Looking at all of my little rooms that I've made, all the things that I've found. Kind of fun watching them blow back and forth in the wind. And the first four you can see I did with the packing tape. This is the one that I did with wax paper and crayon. That's why there's green in the middle. So I did kind of a green background for that. So again, this can work really well, wax paper and some shaved crayons with the iron. Um, just really think about what you have at home, what'll work for you. Try different things out. I have seen these made with, instead of the circle of construction paper made with mason jar lids um, and then hung closer together so that the mason jar lids kind of clink against one another outside. That's a really nice idea too if you guys want to try that if you have the mason jar lids to spare. Um, but I like my construction paper ones. I think they're pretty. They're those nice camp colors. Yeah, please. Again, I would love to see anything that you guys make. I love seeing your creations. You can send pictures or videos to camp at campsummittx.org um, or put them on Facebook or Instagram and tag us, Camp Summit at Home. I hope you guys enjoy this project and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.